Darren Aronofsky's passion project, The Whale, finally got made, and I finally got a chance to see it. Let's discuss. So I literally just came right out of the theater, right out of my car, and just put the camera on. This one was a really tough one. Um, I'll be honest, this movie really, really moved me emotionally. Um, I thought that, first of all, just to get obvious out of the way, Brendan Fraser is absolutely fantastic in this movie. Um, I've always been a huge Brendan Fraser fan, um, but in terms of acting, raw performance, this is definitely, for me, the best thing he's ever done. Um, so I'm very happy that he's getting the um, recognition that he got at the Critics' Choice Awards. I hope that, that continues for him in this award season. But also somebody I really want to shout out to people, um, in particular Sadie Sink, obviously. I really hope that um, the award season kind of catches up to her in this movie because she was absolutely fantastic um, as Ellie in this film, as well as Hong Chow, who we saw earlier this year in The Menu. Um, she's got a couple more movies coming out in the next couple of months from A24. She really has uh, had a big breakout year, and this role is no exception as Liz. I easily thought that, honestly, she was kind of um, someone I connected to a lot in this movie. Um, but just overall, I think this movie was absolutely incredibly made, um, really emotional, and almost everything worked for me. I loved the the way that it goes through the story in the you know fashion that it does, breaking it down day by day. Um, not really much that I can get into honestly without getting too emotional here. Um, but this movie was fantastic. I related to it for a lot of different reasons. Um, some things in my life that I've gone through uh, with you know people in my life um, that I can really relate to the kind of you know, father-child relationship in this movie and, and how heartbreaking that can be um, to lose a parent. Um, but honestly, I just wanted to get my quick thoughts out here. Uh, it's not really a movie that I can dissect right away. I might see it again. It might be one of those movies that I have to wait a long time before I see again. But if you have the chance to see The Whale, go out and see it in a cinema near you. If you have to wait for streaming, you know, I understand that. But if you have the opportunity, if there is a venue playing this movie near you, go see it. It plays like a beautiful stage play. The set, the, the simplistic set of just placing it just in his apartment and, you know, kind of the um, surrounding area of his apartment, um, I thought really, really helped elevate the film and just keep it this narrative focus. Also, I wanted to shout out Ty Simpkins. His character I thought was fantastic. Had almost no idea where that was going to go throughout the movie, um, and I really liked where it ended up. And then Samantha Morton also with a minor role um, coming in uh, towards the back half of the movie. I thought really, really anchored it and just kind of gave Brendan Fraser the outlet to kind of be a great scene partner, to just really let his emotions explode all over um, the scene and all over the camera and everything in this movie. Um... So, like I said, really, really loved this movie. Easy, you know, five out of five. I'm not really sure if I'm still doing ratings on the channel or anything. We're working it out. But um, I loved this movie, and I hope you do too. So uh, go ahead and watch The Whale if it's playing near you. If not, definitely catch it while streaming. Brendan Fraser deserves all the praise and accolades that he's getting for this movie. Um, and until then, guys, we will catch you in the next video.